Hi there, it's Tim with Far North Magic. Today we're trying out a collector booster box of Doctor Who. It's going to be an interesting product and it's going to be a product that's going to feel significantly uh, better, I think, when we open it than what it ends up being, probably. Um, we're going to get a lot of rares like... Um, I think it's like 7 to 14 rares. So you get uh, a few surge foils, so three surge foils, and then a lot of slots that can, like seven or eight, seven slots that have a 10% of surge foil. Um, yeah, 7 to 14 rares. So your most common percentages are 12 and 13 with over 30%. So you're going to get like a hundred and, I don't know, I was going to say 110, uh, 120 rares, but uh, it seems like it might be even significantly more. Um, so a lot of the cards you're looking for are the surge foils, and then some of the surge foils, it's even like um, the uncommons. Uh, that are cards you're looking for, like the displaced dinosaurs. People, like I've seen some openings, oh, this is uncommon. But then it's like one of the more expensive cards because the way the... Um, pack slotting works. So, first off, we got a Cyberman and a Soldier. Got a Swamp. The 11th Doctor. Ensnared by Mara. Got Command Tower. Got Rose Tyler. Claire Oswald. Uh, P uh, Peter Brown. Shadow Blood Ridge, Jenny Generated Anami, Root Battle and Craig, Cyberman Squadron, Scattered Groves, Kenyon Slough, River Song, Cyberman Patrol, and the end. So uh, you end up with a whole bunch of slots from the deck. So we end up with our our one doctor slot, our slots from the deck. So you get one card um, from each deck, and th there's a percentage of being uh, surge for these. Okay, we got our one surge foil there, and then we got um, a reprint and a non-reprint in. Like the extended, and then the uh, wild card slot, and then a uh, reprint, non reprint. Oh, that's the reprints. Uh, I don't know. Just a lot of stuff. How does this get sorted? I don't know. Oh no, the piles go away, just one giant pile. I don't know. The interesting thing that they did for this product is surge foil tokens, but on both sides at least. So we got a fish clue, we got our TARDIS planes. We're also looking for the, the uh, number doctors. They're pretty hard to open. We got uh, eighth doctor. Choked Estuary, uh, Fortified Village, Kate Strood, Steward, Frontier Bivouac, Reverse Polarity, Time Wipe, uh, The Five Doctors, Thespian Stage, oh, there's the Eighth Doctor in Surge, 
Haunted Ridge, Thriving Isle, Second Doctor, and the Twelfth Doctor. So, okay, I know what I want to do with this. Okay, search, search. I don't know. I will mess these piles up, no matter what. No, not messing them up, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, the pain. Okay, on to pack three. Oh, there's our sur first Surge Basic. They come in at one in three packs. Oh, there's the Tenth Doctor. We got Great Intelligence Plan. Perry Brown, Mindstone, Ponder, Run for Your Life, we got Canopy Vista, RMS Titanic, Sheltered Thicket, Quantum Misalignment in the Extended Foil. Hey, there's a nice surge with the Heroic Intervention in the Surge Extended. Uh, a pop Adposit Offspring in Surge, the Fourth Doctor in the TARDIS frame, and the War Doctor in the foil with Alien Angel, Alien Warrior. Okay, pack four. Okay, we got the TARDIS Forest. The Sixth Doctor, uh, The Flood on Mars, Arcane Signet, RMS Titanic, The Fugitive Doctor, Cyber Conversion in Extended, Redding, Wedding Ring in Extended, Leela uh, Savteen Warrior in the Extended Foil, we got Cursed Mirror in Extended Foil. Sergeant John Bennett. Hey, there's a nice one. Surge Sunbay Canyon. Inspiring Refrain in uh, Surge. The Master Formed Anew. And the Third Doctor. And a copy. to pack five. Okay. Hey, there's the Cyberman and Soldier in Search. Oh, there's the other four start. Hey, there's the 11th Doctor in Search. We got Soul Ring in just the regular foil. Sky Cloud Expanse. In the regular foils, as foretold, and Carvanstein Loyal Lupert, Dalek Emperor in Extended, Port Town in Extended, Rory Williams in Extended Foil. Hey, there's a really nice one, Carpet of Flowers in Extended Foil, Dalek Drone in the Extended Foil. Uh, in the Surge Extended, we got Temple of Abandon in the Surge Extended. Flaming Tyrannosaurus in the Surge uh, Extended. The First Doctor. And Master Formed Anew in the Foil TARDIS. Frame. Okay. 
is going to be pack six. We got the beast and human token. Just in regular foil. We got our swamp starting us off. Doctors, the fifth doctor. Dragon Skull Summit. K9 Mark One in foil. Evolving Wilds in foil. Uh, twice upon a time in uh, Surge. The Sound of Drums in extended. Celestial Colonnade in extended. Time Reaper in extended foil. Game Trail in extended foil. Tegan Jov uh, Jovica in extended foil. Uh, extended Surge. Fortified Village in Extended Surge, Delaying Time Loop, Decaying Time Loop, sorry, in, ex in the Surge, Sarah Jane Smith, and the Master Multiplied in the TARDIS frames, with the Master being foil. Okay. Pack 7 in Island starting us off. The Twelfth Doctor, Clockwork Drone, uh, Drone, Jamie McCrimmon, Wilford Mott, Curse Mirror, those are all foils, regular foils, uh, Adric, Mathematical Genius in Extended, Heroes Podium in Extended, we got the Cyberman Squadron in Extended, Foil, Temple of Abandon in Extended Foil. Return the Past. I think that was a solid one in Extended Surge. Hey, there's another nice Extended Surge with Fiery Islet. Got a Rose Tyler in Surge. The Eleventh Doctor in the TARDIS. And Missy. Human Noble. And Mark from Rani. So, it'll be interesting to how, see how the cards all hold up, because I think a lot of them will have to come down. I don't think the Surge Foils can hold the crazy prices as much, but we'll have to see, I guess. Uh, we got a plane starting us off. The Third Doctor. How, the, how it ends. How this ends. This is how it ends. Oh, jeez. Canopy, Horizon Canopy in foil, Donna Noble in foil, Truth of or Consequence in foil, Barbara Wright in extended, Shipwreck Marsh in extended, Ace Fearless Rebel in extended foil, Lava Claw Reaches in extended foil, Ace's Baseball Bat in the Surge extended, Prairie Stream in the Surge Extended, Shadow Blood Ridge in the Surge Extended, Davros Dalek Creator in the TARDIS Frame, and K Mark 1 in the Foil with Alien Rhino and a Clue. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's hard for me to. Uh, like most people, it's just getting the massive amount of rares, so definitely hard. There's going to be a lot of under dollar rares, or dollar rares, so. We got an island. We got the 13th Doctor. We got the cre Creeping Tar Pit. We got Explore in foil. Uh, the War Doctor. Jenny Flint in the Surge, the Fifth Doctor in Extended, Temple of Mystery in Extended, Sally Sparrow in Extended uh, Foil, Overgrown F Farmland in Extended Foil, Barbara Wright in ex Extended Surge, Frostboil Snarl in Extended Surge. Hey, there's a nice one, Displaced Dinosaurs. I'm pretty sure this is one of the more expensive Surge, even though it's uncommon. Fugitive Doctor. And a Fugitive Doctor in Foil with a Dalek and Dinosaur Token. That's a cool looking one. 
Um, yeah, so. Okay, on to, what is this, pack 10? So, this product feels really good, but I think it's going to be one of those products where when you look up all the cards, once they settle, you're going to be like, oh, okay, <laughs> this is not that great. Surge Swamp, starting us off. We got the second Doctor. Talisman of Dominance in foil. The Knight of the Doctor in uh, foil. The other thing is, is these uh, sagas might hold value if they're any good. We got the Thriving Bluff because they don't have the extended slots to put out extra supply. Jenny's Flint in extend uh, in foil. Assad the Lone Cyberman in extended. Cinder Glade in extended. Sound of the Drums in Extended Foil, Frost, Bo Frost Boil Snarl in Extended Foil, Rotating Fireplace in the Surge Extended, Temple of Triumph in the Surge Extended, Doomsday Confluence in the Surge Extended, War Doctor in the TARDIS, and the Sixth Doctor in the Foil with a Dalek food. Can't get in. Okay. On to pack 11. We got a Surge Treasure Human Noble. Got a Forest. Got the Ninth Doctor in foil. Doomsday Confluence in foil. Path to Exile in foil. A Thriving Bluff in Surge. Farseek in foil. Uh, cyber ship and extended with a f fury calm snarl in extended non foil as well. Ian Chesterton in extended foil. Canopy Vista extended foil. Martha Jones in extended surge. Blasphemous act in extended surge. Oh, we got a creeping tar pit in the surge. It's Cyberman Patrol. And the Tenth Doctor. Too bad that wasn't numbered. But, uh... Okay, so we got one last pack to go. I think this is... Yeah, gonna be a really interesting product in the end. We got an Alien Salamander. Oh, shit. Alien. Gave it away. I don't know what it is. Uh, planes in search. The first doctor. Uh, the beast of deathless prince in foil. Eighth doctor in foil. The eleventh hour in foil. Shelter thicket in foil. Me the immortal in extended, as long along with a farewell. I was hoping to get one of them. In extended. Osgood Operation Double in Extended Foil, Shadow Blood Ridge in Extended Foil, Crack in Time, ex Surge f Extended, Rockfall Veil vale in the uh, Surge Extended, The Flood on Mars in Surge, Ninth Doctor, and the Fifth Doctor. So overall, yeah, I don't know. Again, like, you're getting only a handful of commons and uncommons. Like, we got, uh, five, uh, with, uh, what are we doing here? I don't know what we're doing here. This is the problem. What are we happy about opening? We are happy. We only got five mythics, I think. Which isn't a monstrous surprise. Um, no numbering that I missed, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I guess our search foils is the big hitter spot. 
but we'll see. Like, what do we got here? That is super interesting. I don't know. I think, like, I'm happy with the lands that they picked, even though some of them are a bit fa sooner than I was expecting. Um, because that at least they give these decks a really nice mana base compared to like some of the other decks that they do. I'm happy about the Carpet of Flowers. Um, because they haven't reprinted that in a meaningful way in quite a while or ever. Um, like even the Buddy Lands were getting a little more expensive. Like it seemed crazy that they were actually getting some value. Uh, getting a Farewell was nice. I would have liked to get the Everyone Lives, but maybe I'll open that other box that I didn't want to buy. And we'll take another crack at it. I'll have to take an absolute look at what we got here. Um, but the... I think the, the Surge Dinosaurs is pretty good. At least with the pre-order prices. I think even this might be not the, the worst. The Decaying Time Loop card. Cards with Retrace are interesting. As for the Surge Rares, I think we did pretty good. Got some decent lands with the at the Blasphemous Act. Although, like, it's probably not hugely expensive. It's still nice to see. Um, the main... Yeah, again, lands are still cool in the Surge, I think. The Fiery Islet is super cool. Because I'm pretty sure that's one of the, the better lands. Even though I think that's going to go, like, crash pretty hard for the regular copy. Because there's like, um, it's in multiple decks. So I think this Return to the Past is solid. Uh, a couple more. Flaming Tyrannosaurus is cool looking. I don't think it's worth a whole lot. But I think a lot of the cards are going to settle in that like a uh, couple, like one to like less than anything. Heroic Intervention in Surge Foil is cool. I imagine this card finally gets like crushed down because like it was in like multiple commander deck runs. Um, but it's a really, really strong card, so. Um, yeah. Okay. And then some big canyon. That's definitely a solid one. I'm definitely probably missing cards that are theoretically valuable right now just because I don't believe all the prices um, because we're too close to the pre-order pre-sale still I think prices for a lot of stuff will have to settle a lot lower like if you look at the uh, like Warhammer decks and stuff they didn't have a collector box pushing more supply out there of stuff and a lot of those prices like they got crushed down to like around a dollar or less so i think a bunch of the cards have more to drop but uh, definitely a product that when you open it you feel good about it because you get so many rares and uh a lot of treatments and stuff and uh I guess we'll have to see how it goes in the end, but uh, I think when things settle, if I save all the cards till then, I'm going to look at stuff and go, oh, that's a cool looking card. It's a dollar. It's a cool looking card. It's a dollar. It's a cool looking card. It's a dollar. And there's just going to be a lot of that. 
and uh, that's fine because like your average card in a commander decks like under a dollar usually <laughs> like the a lot of the commander decks end up being like 70 80 dollars in value so if your average card's like 80, 70 80 cents um with a few cards being worth pretty good money. So we'll just have to see how this goes. I think there is uh, something like the surge for these uh, uncommons are uh, pretty tough because I forgot about the wild card surge slot in which I got that in, but uh, the individual slot per deck is really hard because it's only like pulling from the 93 cards or whatever that in, is in the deck and then it's like surge is 1 in 10 at, on top of that and then uh, yeah so it's not as hard as I thought it would be because of that extra other wild card slot but there's a lot of uh, cards that are in that slot. So there's like uh, extendeds and regular frames. So it's uh, probably not super common. But, anyways, uh, I guess let me know what you think. Um, did you open any Doctor Who um, collectors? Did you just buy the decks? Are you skipping the product altogether? I know when they first announced this, I wasn't that excited, but being that uh, they tend to like take care with Universes Beyond product, I kind of don't mind them. I, again, I would have liked them to kind of have it as Universes Beyond with... Um, using the magic rule set but then keeping all of the universes beyond stuff separate but like that, that's long gone so that's not something we can go back to um so i guess that's where we're at and uh i hope you have a good rest of your day take care and i hope to see you next time bye